good morning. I wanted to get on and show you a way that we use leftovers. Um, I'm getting ready to make lunch today and um, we had chicken last night and I don't know about your house but my boys don't eat many leftovers. You can see I'm dressed in my good work clothes again today. The downside of COVID-19 and working from home. Um, with a leftover chicken it will go to waste before my kids will eat it. Um, and it's so chilly out here in Virginia today I thought making up some soup would be a great way to use up all those leftovers. So I'm going to tilt this a little bit. All I have in here is chicken broth. I took the four leftover chicken breasts and cut them up with some onions, the leftover potatoes, some celery, and carrots. And I've had this on the oven um, or on the stove top for a while simmering. And now I'm going to get it to a pretty rapid boil. And what I want to show you is the simplest thing ever. Michelle, you, this is for you. Show this to your husband because it's a win for you. Um, I have made, I'm going to move this this way too, um, some Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie noodles. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. It's so simple. All it is is um, flour, milk, and salt. Um, it's a cup of flour, half a cup of milk, and just like a sprinkling of salt. I usually put about a teaspoon in. You mix the dough up till it's kind of soft, and you can see I've rolled this out. And the secret to doing this, and this is my favorite part, is using a pizza cutter to cut the noodles. So you can cut them whatever size you want. I'm gonna slice mine fairly small because they're gonna swell up in there. I have found this to be the easiest way to do this and um, to get a bunch done. To cut them by hand, which is what I did when I first had the recipe, takes forever. And you can see they're a nice soft noodle. Um, this is something that my kids, even though it's all leftovers in there, they will eat the heck out of this. Um, you can see how fast I can go through this. Um, and now for the fun. My broth should be about boiling now. I'm going to put this back on the face up and post it over here. I'm going to move my cutting board. This was my mom's cutting board. I've promised it to my daughter um, when she gets, when I, when I am ready to give it away. Uh, the next thing I will get is, you can use a knife. I like trying to use the side of this, but now that my broth is boiling, I wish I almost need to mount this on my forehead. You can see it's got a, sorry, light boil going on. I'm going to drop these noodles in there. Just drop them in. Um, talk about easy homemade fresh. Here's, here's an uglier one that's more rustic. It's almost like a ribble, and the boiling broth is going to cook this up nicely. Soak up a bunch of the broth, and we will have pot pie for lunch. This is the real pot pie, not the fake stuff you buy at the grocery store in the little pie tins. But you can see the noodles just come right up, and you just drop them in the boiling liquid. I'm going to turn it again, and you can see there's one as they cook. I will try to put a finished product on here. If you want the whole recipe, um, a step-by-step. -step. I'm going to post this later on on my blog, Road Leading Home, and I hope you subscribe to the channel and the blog. Enjoy your lunch. Bye!